What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. This video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. The video game you guys are about to see is an indie PC title. And the title is He-Man. That's right, if you are a child of the 80s like me, He-Man was a big part of your life growing up. And this indie game takes me back. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, this game is for PC, Mac, Linux. It even works for Android. So if you're walking around with an Android device and you want to pull out your Samsung or you know, uh, your phone and play it on the go, you can. This game has the authentic voice actors from the cartoon. It has the recycled animation from the cartoon. It has a plethora of characters, as you guys can see. He-Man's in the game. The Sorceress is in the game. Tila's in the game. Man-at-Arms in the game. Ram Man's in the game. Battle Cat's in the game. And even lion -O from Thundercats. This game is actually in beta right now. And so they're taking suggestions for characters and special moves. So people are actually submitting these you know these tallies I want this person in the game I want this move in the game and they're actually doing it there will be a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and download this game it's free check it out play it enjoy it I'm enjoying it I already beat it once today and so now I'm just doing a little extra footage for you guys I got a little bit of news for you guys because I, I want to keep you guys up to date with what's going on in the gaming world it appears that Microsoft has a, a problem right now and their problem is Sony. Uh, this article is on Forbes.com and there will be a link in the description for this too. If this keeps up, Xbox One has a big problem and it's called the PS4. Yes, it's early. Too early for anyone to pop the champagne corks, declare victory and stand over the other guy with the scowl of a champion. But Microsoft has a problem with the Xbox One and its war with the PlayStation 4 and it had better solve it soon or else risks having a much smaller installed base, perhaps half the size by the holiday shopping season of 2014. As Paul Tassie wrote here in Forbes, Sony announced the sale of 7 million PS4 units, which it turns out occurred two weeks ago. That led Microsoft to respond with a report of its own claiming 5 million Xbox Ones shipped to retailers. The careful observer has already caught the difference between sales and shipments suggesting Microsoft's numbers are soft. So Microsoft came out after PS4, uh, after Sony had announced that their PS4 sold 7 million units and they announced that they shipped only 5 million so far. And everywhere you go you see Xbox One still, PS4s are still like ghosts, you can't find them anywhere. So I'm thinking that the Xbox One probably hasn't even sold, well if they only shipped 5 million, you do the math. I want to continue here. But worse for the Redmond Washington software giant is the trend. Each month this year, Sony has sold nearly a million PlayStation 4s, while Microsoft has barely shipped 400,000 Xbox Ones to retail. If we assume, perhaps generously, that Microsoft's installed base is up to 4.5 million at this point, and that the channel isn't getting stuffed with unsold consoles, a trip to my local Costco suggested Xbox Ones are literally piling up, Microsoft could have barely 8 million Xbox Ones in homes by the end of the year. Sony, by contrast, is on pace to double that total if things continue as they have so far in 2014. Certainly things could change the equation, though Dave there notes that even with Titanfall, the Xbox couldn't outsell the PlayStation 4 in March here in the US. Everyone seems to agree the biggest issue is the $100 price gap between the two systems, which is mostly a function of the decision to bundle the Kinect with the Xbox One. But there is little doubt that ill will associated with the botched Xbox launch hasn't helped matters much. The question is when, whether, and how Microsoft will react. It's certainly not the case that Xbox One's launch numbers are a disaster overall, but if these tepid monthlies continue, what might they seem like one year from now? And there doesn't seem to be any catalyst that will alter the equation short of either a price cut by Microsoft or, ironically, some slowing in the sales of the PS4. There, perhaps, Microsoft has some room to be encouraged. If you look at the chart, you can see a trend line for each console which closely matches the actual data points. While the Xbox, Xbox line is getting awfully flat, Sony's higher line is also beginning to crest. 
Microsoft's problem looks a lot less serious if the PS4 doesn't run away from it with a much larger install base too quickly. On the other hand, if it does, the question is when does it become too late for Microsoft? And there's an issue of whether the company should even bother. While Xbox is a hugely popular product, it's not an especially important profit center for Microsoft. Some have even speculated the gaming division has lost billions of dollars over the past decade. It's easy to say, well, Microsoft should just trim $100 off the Xbox One and eat a billion in losses on the next 10 million consoles, but it's not readily apparent new CEO Satya Nadella would see that, wouldn't see that as a good use of corporate cash, even though Microsoft has plenty. Still, momentum has a way of snowballing, and right now the PS4 is not only outselling the Xbox One, it seems to be outselling it by more and more as time passes. Microsoft will have to decide soon whether to do something about that or risk also ran status. What do I think about this? Microsoft does. They have to, they have to come up with something soon. I'm pretty sure at E3 this year, they're going to uh, go ahead and unveil this new $400 model. I'm sure many uh, gamers would prefer it to be a connect list model, not a discless model. But the way it's looking now with them only shipping, they've only shipped 5 million Xbox Ones. They're way behind Sony right now, and it looks like it's going to continue to be that way for a considerable amount of time. You guys let me know what you think about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this footage. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and show some love. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'm going to let you guys finish watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.